Today I'm going to be talking to you about why I rebought the Sony AX53 in 2024. It may be eight years old, but you know what? Image quality, ease of use. To me, this is still a camera to get in 2024. So here we are on the Sony AX53 camcorder. Camcorder, hell yeah camcorder. Why not? Because it's easy. It's easy, man. That's the big deal. That's what you want. You know what I did do though, which is kind of cool. I threw some Tiffin Black Satin 3 on here. Yeah, that's right. This thing has filter threads on it. So I can throw this on here and kind of bloom out those highlights a little bit. Maybe get us a little bit of a nicer image versus that digital stabilized image. You know what I love about this and part of the reason why I bought it again? Well, one, ours broke and uh, needed a new one because, you know, at the end of the day, just want something simple. You know, that's what the wife wants. She wants something nice and simple. Nothing fancy, nothing heavy. This thing is light. It has that gimbal lens. So here we go. Let's go ahead and walk it out and see how it feels. How does it look? Quality wise, yeah, it's a little bit tighter for sure, but it's got that gimbal in it. So it should give us a little bit of a stabler shot. I guess we'll see. Here, let's flip it back around. Now let's walk back into the wind. So now I'm walking into the wind. Got that wind coming right at the face versus coming in. Hopefully the mic is doing a good job of really trying to cancel it out. It doesn't have a dead cat or anything of that nature, but it does have kind of that little pop filtery thing over the top of it. So hopefully it's doing a good job of really trying to cancel it out. Now, because we have the filter threads on this thing, I could throw on, I could throw on my Peter McKinnon six to nine stop, bright sunny day. I could maybe get us that shallower depth of field. You could totally get it and throw it on the tripod back there. I could throw it on there. And I could get that shallow depth of field by zooming all the way in. Let's see if we can get it by throwing on an ND filter, seeing if we can make this image look just a little bit crisper, a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. All right, so now we got our Peter McKinnon, along with that Black Sand 3 Tiffin filter on here. We got our Peter McKinnon 6 to 9 stop. This is the version 2 of this ND filter. And I can tell you that uh, maybe it's making it a little bit more shell depth of field. You know, the screen's a little bit hard to see. I don't know if that's because maybe I just pretty much grabbed it out of the box. I want to see how we can do with it. This is a uh, total backlit. Now we're walking back and we got that wind again coming right at our face. So that microphone hopefully will be doing a good job. It is a little tight. That's downside with this. You got that 26 millimeter lens. So you're really gonna have to hold it out there to try and get something really nice and cinematic. This is what you're gonna get. I ended up buying this camera again. Why? Again, like I said, ease of use. I really like that. It's also nice when you're going on family vacation. Sometimes you don't wanna always lug around a huge giant camera. This is inconspicuous. Most people are gonna try and rob you. If you got a little camcorder, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, a little camcorder. I ain't getting a lot of money for that. No, absolutely not. But I can tell you that this camera right now still goes for a thousand dollars it's a little bit harder to find but you could definitely find it out there on the market i ended up going to b and h to find this didn't really trust the amazon i wasn't sure if it was going to be refurbished or not this camera i really really wanted to get back in our arsenal and it wasn't really for me again it was for my wife who was trying to make it as simple as possible I mean, this thing's got a really nice zoom. So when you go to places like Disneyland, Disney World, you go to uh, theme parks, things of that nature, you just throw this thing in a bag and it's real easy to use. It's got good battery life. It can last for quite a bit when the battery's fully charged. Right now, I just kind of gave it enough juice to hopefully make this video. I really think that this is an underutilized camera. Everybody wants to have full frame, and don't get me wrong, full frame is definitely a very nice, good way to go. This one over two fifth sensor, it's really shiny, right? That Sony ZV-1 Mark II, that thing is going to be a one inch sensor. You're gonna get a lot different, shallower depth of field and things of that nature. When you crank up the iris on this thing, by throwing this ND on, throw a little uh, Tiffin Black Sand 3 filter on here. All those links will be down in the description below. This camera turns out to be pretty nice. I think it's definitely some that if you are just looking for basic video, something that's going to be super easy to use, this camera is one that you cannot beat. I'm gonna try and get a little bit further away and see how it sounds as we are or smack dab up against the water. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds when we get further away. All right, so now we're a little bit further away from the water and hopefully you're not gonna get so much of those waves crashing and things like that. Having a camera that is just easy, sometimes it's just easy. I get it, man. You got your cell phone and that could work great too. You don't wanna use your cell phone all day and then maybe it dies out on you. I find that having a dedicated video camera just makes your life so much easier. 
so there's no ants or bugs or anything. But I can tell you that just having a camera easily accessible at the ready really makes it so much better. Having dedicated video, having a, a system that's really built for video, I think is something that is highly underrated. And I think a lot of people, they look at that cell phone and they think it's great. How are you sharing those memories? Are you just keeping them on your phone? You're probably messaging them off. Maybe you're putting them up in a cloud, some of that nature. I feel like when you use a camcorder, something like this, you're gonna have to do maybe a little post-processing. And what do I mean by that? Well, post-processing means that you're you're gonna string a couple clips together, you're gonna to make a video, you're gonna maybe make it so people can watch it. Throw it up on YouTube. For me, I like to put everything onto a like SSD drive and then I plug it right into my DVD player. And then the kids love watching the video. It's 1080p, but they don't care. You know, 4K, 1080p, it doesn't really matter. This thing is a, a 4K workhorse here for you. It's not gonna overheat. It's built to really do a great job. I think that you would be very happy with this if you're just, you know, a mom and pop, dad i mean this thing came out in 2016 and it's still holding the test of time and i would put this thing up against any one of my cameras when it comes to just ease of use it really is again i just set the date i picked 4k i picked uh, 100 megabytes per second or 100 megabits per second whichever one it is 24p and off and run we go through some of the nds on there which you, you actually don't need to me, it's very simple. Now, I'm gonna show you the zoom capabilities. My daughter's over there, she's playing, sitting on a chair. I'm gonna show you the zoom capabilities of this lens, and you tell me what you think down in the comments below on how good the image looks. Okay, so this is the camera at 26 millimeters. I'm gonna show you the zoom capabilities. I did put digital zoom on. It's gonna go up to 250 times. Let's go ahead and see how it zooms. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to digital zoom yet. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Little. There we go. Just playing away. How close can we get? Whoa. Really shaky here. Sorry about that, folks. All right. But there's the zoom capabilities. Let's zoom it all the way back out. There you go. Normally, you want to stick with that optical zoom. It's going to be a better way to go. But let's go ahead and uh, wrap up this video. So to sum this thing up, is this camcorder so good in 2024? You bet your bottom dollar it is. It could still record great 4K video. And if that's all you're looking for, links are down in the description below. If you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna like the video on the screen now. It's another video about the Sony AX53. Go ahead and click on that video and I'll see you on that one next. Before you leave, don't forget to like, subscribe, or ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Peace.